Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv and this is going to be readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot, Marvelous Taurus Tribe, Marvelous Cancer Tribe, Marvelous Libra Tribe, and Marvelous Capricorn Tribe. This is going to be an intro for the upcoming week ahead. Some things that I want you guys to know and we're going to jump right into it. This is what I call guys our transition week. Every transition week brings its own flavor, especially when it's a transition week where not only are we going from one zodiac sign to the next, which is why I call it a transition week, because we are transitioning from one sun sign energy into another. In this case, it is Cancer and Leo. However, we got other big ticket items that's going on this week, and I wanted to just go over them in very, very short form with you to let you know what's going on. And this is going to be an intro that is going to be a top of every single video. Um, because of the transition week and all of the astrology that's going on this week, I have a lot of personal preparation to do as well as uh, working with clients, okay? Um, so I'm gonna give you a quickie three card reading that's gonna just highlight some of the energy that you may be experiencing this week. I did that last week um, to give you a love reading because the week before last I was on vacation. So you got your videos on time, which is <laughs> what my goal is to give you something as well as a uh, Venus and Leo inspired love reading. So you also got that last week because I knew that this was going to be our transition week. Let's get into some of this astro uh, weather. First and foremost, it is a transition week, which is a week of big astrology in addition to the sun moving out of Cancer and into Leo. Now, we do kick off the, the week with our new moon in Cancer. Yes, there will be a, a new moon, moon pools podcast uh, audio video for you guys that's already completed. You just don't have it yet. It will be dropped for you tomorrow. Um, the next day after that, we do have the North Node and South Node shifting out of Taurus and Scorpio, respectively, into Aries and Libra. That transit is um, starting on July 18th, and it will take us through January 11, 2025. Venus will then retro in Leo, as I told you guys in that video, um, where we talked about Venus and Leo anyway. Um, the retrograde starts um, on July 22nd, the same day the sun goes into Leo, when it transitions out of Cancer and officially goes into Leo. And then finally, Chiron is going to go retrograde the next day in Aries. Now, right now as it stands, I have a um, page on my website that was called, um, it's, it's called Important 2023 Important Astrological um, Transits. This will be where all of the commentary, you know, whatever I'm pulling, if I'm deciding to pull a card or whatever, will go. Right now, um, I have it down because it is under construction because I need to add a couple of things to it. Um, so if you're interested in Venus's, um, Venus's move into Leo, which happened on June 5th, that is already out for you guys, all right? Um, the new moon in Cancer, of course, will be uh, the new moon's podcast. But as far as Chiron going retro in Aries, as well as the North Node and South Node, that's going to be changing from Aries into Libra. All of that will be on that page. So if you're ever interested in what I am talking about and want to see, you know, where I'm commentating on, um, it'll always be on YouTube, but those are always available on that particular link. And this concludes this. So we do have a lot going on, guys. Um, 717, 718, um, two big things happening on 722. And then we end this week with Chiron going retro in Aries. Um, a lot of fire energy, big fire energy for you guys. And just keep that in mind. And last but not least, um, every time I experience as a um, professional uh, reader um, that Venus comes into um, our lives every 18 months. That is a busy time for me, for all of my existing clients, um, because the majority of you are earth signs and my clientele, which is very, very large. 
Um, please don't feel, please don't hesitate to reach out to me to ask me if I have availability. I don't want you guys to go on the website and automatically assume that just because you don't see anything that I don't. If you are an existing client, you already have my contact information. My 702-625-3432 number is my working number and I do receive texts on it. If you are an existing client, I would prefer though for you to go on and click the existing client link, which will notify me. And then I will contact you because now it's on my radar. It will send me um, a notification through the scheduler, through my email and let me know this person wants to set up something. We discuss what's best. I manually book it. You do not book it at this point um, because I need to place you on my calendar based upon availability in which right now I don't have any. It really depends on a day by day, week by week um, basis. If you are brand new to me, um, the existing um, uh, products that are out there for you, if you want to book a reading, is a tarot text reading um, as well as a pre recorded video. Now, my existing clients can feel free to do that too because a lot of you have, but if you want um, a, a phone reading right now, um, you as a brand new client are going to have to email me at readings at marvelous .com. That email is always listed below and ask me if I have capacity. Um, I did not want to do a link. I would prefer for you just to email me and let me know. I have read a couple of new people like that. Welcome to the family. But right now I have to, um, I have to make a priority um, not that I won't get to you. It's just that I can't guarantee that I will. As far as emergency readings, because I have had some inform uh, some um, see some messages from individuals asking me about emergency readings. My emergency readings are not emergency, meaning that when you get to me, that you're going to automatically be read it, re read it. Oh my goodness, read at that point. Um, if you can wait and it is an emergency, what that means is I'm dropping everything to read you. So, um, I have taken that off, you know, off of the, the books, but I will be adding those guys understand that those readings are more because you are asking me basically to put a priority on you. Um, and I understand it. So the way I can do an emergency reading is it will be within 24 hours. It's not going to be within the couple. You will see that link out there. Um, if you want an emergency read and I'm formulating something where you can get to me and I will reach out to you same way as the other link for existing customers. This is open to all. Um, and for the higher premium, I will make you a priority. I hate to do that, but a lot of people have been asking. So supply and demand is what this is. Um, and that concludes it. Thank you so much for listening. Everything that you need as usual is below in the description box, guys. I'll see you in your video. Bye guys. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your weekly energy reading. This reading is going to carry you through the energy of July 16th through July 23rd. Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And it has been addressed either in the description box below, the pinned comment, or addressed in the intro to this video. Okay, so I don't like the energy so far uh, carrying us and putting us in a mind state of burdens and things that you are burdensome about. Um, it looks like there are things that are presenting themselves in your life this week as a burden. Um, with Ten Wands, you have been enthusiastic about these things. They have been things that you have actually involved yourself in but now enough is enough gemini you're getting to a point where you're over it now there's bigger fish to fry um similar with aries you can have aries in your chart somewhere there is something a truth that you were always aware of in your heart that either you decided to hide from yourself as a way to cope with something that ex that was proven to be extremely burdensome to you or that is now a truth or a behind the veil activity, so to speak, that is going to be revealed to you. That's going to in turn open you up to a bigger picture. The world indicates integration. 
um, combining forces, mixing together, in addition to all of the other wonderful things um, that this card can uh, connotate. Um, there's a lot of beautiful energy in this particular card. So with that said enough, there is something very tangible that you're finding out this week about yourself, about opportunities, about where you placed your energy, about all of the ways that you could have lied to yourself uh, and some things that may be revealed that um, you didn't know about. OK, um, that high priestess in your heart indicates that this is something or someone that you are very fond of if it is a person. But I think more importantly, Gemini, this really speaks to the fact that you're going to be by accepting or this thing being revealed to you is going to open you up to so much more than you could ever imagine. In the past, yes, we were the Prince of Swords. So you've endure, endured some obstacles. There were things, okay, um, especially with communication. This feels like a big uh, lack of communication type thing, which in turn had you in a flighty type of mode, like flying away, <laughs> not literally, but figuratively speaking, like moving out of the way so you wouldn't have to have the burden of really letting someone know how their energy was burdensome to you, if that makes sense. Um, Prince of Swords, there were obstacles. There were several layers here of just communication, that either was given or wasn't was given but was brass was very cutting okay opportunities for growth doesn't always feel like it's an opportunity for growth the prince of swords the equivalent of the knight of swords lets me know that there were things that you had to definitely um, except that just you did not like the way that shit was packaged. The way that it was delivered could have been delivered better. It seems like every time you took two, two steps forward, there were two steps back. It was just a constant burden for you. OK, whatever this is, person, place or thing. However, the top of the deck is indicative that we do have temperance here. So, you know, I'm feeling like that. Out of this burden, when we get to the Ten of Wands, we advance to the Ace. Out of what was held behind the veil or what we knew but we didn't follow our intuition on. What is now being opened up to us with the world being offered as we let the burdens go and, and face the truth is now a promise of temperance, of moderation. To take it one day at a time. To now, you know... Take it slow. Moderate oneself. Stop putting the cart before the horse. All of the things that you can think of. OK, when we peel back the layers. Look at what remains a beautiful following our intuition. Therefore, the world will be opened up to us. But we have to do it one day at a time and moderate ourselves type energy. Can't make that up, Gemini. Cannot make it up at all. Such a beautiful energy. If you don't take anything else with you, this is your gift. You take it with you. The temperance. High priestess in the world. Like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. It is always a pleasure, Gemini. I will see you next week when we do it again. Bye, guys.